So are you ready to impress a crowd with your cooking? This recipe of pork carnitas is going to do the trick. So we're going to start with a pork butt, bone in or boneless, bone in, more flavor, boneless, easier. So whatever you want. And we're going to put on that one teaspoon of cumin, one tablespoon of chili powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and a couple turns of black pepper. And we're just going to rub that all over that pork butt. So once your pork roast is rubbed up, rubbed down, and rubbed all the way around, we are going to be adding one onion that we have quartered, followed by three cloves of garlic, the juice of one lime, and also the juice of one orange. Then top it with a couple cups of water just so that it is submerged a little bit and does not dry out. And then moving on to the star of the dish. I know it seems weird, but this sauce is the best sauce on planet Earth. It is incredible. So we're gonna start with one cup of sour cream, a half cup of mayonnaise, four cloves of garlic, top it with the squeeze of one lime. Some people call that the juice, but I'm gonna call it the squeeze. Then we're going to take two chipotle peppers, seeds removed because that is where the heat is like i always say then we're going to top that with a pinch of salt and then blend it until it is a sauce then we're just going to transport it into a squeeze bottle and not get any sauce on the squeeze bottle yeah, that's not gonna happen. And that's all for your sauce. Go ahead and refrigerate it. The longer that sits in the refrigerator, the more flavorful it becomes. So after our meat has been in the crock pot for four hours on high, eight hours on low, depending on how fast you wanna do this, we are going to start slicing that up into little cubes. And this is where my health consciousness gets in the way of tradition. So traditionally, carnitas are boiled and fried in lard. Whereas I'm just going to simmer them in the juice and reduce that until they are cooking in their own fat, but not as much fat as if it was just a vat of lard. So we're just going to do that. We're going to take it to a pan and simmer it on medium heat until all that liquid evaporates and starts to crisp up that carnitas. This is very important. You want crispy and moist carnitas. If they're just moist, you lose that extra depth of flavor. And there you have it. Serve it with the normal accompaniments to a taco and you will have a dinner that people will want you to make time and time again. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the R. Click the thumbs up button if you liked it and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you guys next time.